Hi, it's Ian from Forward Cycling again. Just gonna run you through build number 34. This is a GR20 gravel bike. It is in a size 54 and it's finished in frozen berry with cherry graphics, so cherry metallic graphics. It's a JMJ Designs paint job. So it's a custom, full custom paint job on it. I absolutely love this color. Um, the actual graphic, we have taken that from the one road bike. So my one road bike is finished in this color with iridescent graphic. So we did a little bit of a nod um, for that bike and then copied the that color onto this, but the actual main paint there's frozen berry. So as with all the bikes, it's got a um, GR20 logo on the top. That's a stenciled graphic, so it's not a sticker. It's been stenciled on there by JMJ. Uh, we've got forwards on the down tube. So forwards graphic on the down tube there. We have a Union Jack on the back of the seat post there. And then of course, standard build number down the bottom. So build 34 just inside the chainstay. Um, cockpit is, um, as with all our gravel bikes, so it's, this is a Pro Discover handlebar stem. That's in a 90 mil on this, but as it's a pre-build, we've chosen the most common size for a 54. But if we needed to change that, we can change that to suit the customer. It's got Pro Discover handlebar. It's a 20 degree flare. So if you can see there, just get it to focus in. 20 degree flare and finished in the 3B bar tape. So it's BHT 16 bar tape, 3.5 millimeters, gives you loads of comfort. It's got like a gel built into the tape. As always, standard finish for us. So we've got the, the matched end on there. So the tape's done nicely. It's a figure of eight wrap around the hoods. The, um, Gear shifters STIs are obviously GRX 810. We fit a post, post dropper lever on this side, so seat post dropper. We mainly do that, so if you have a crash, it just pushes the lever in. Not many people are using the dropper posts, uh, but it's more of a, a feature that we've put there so that if it fell over or you crashed it, you're not gonna snap the lever off, so it gives you a little bit of movement there. Um, so wheels on this one, this has got the iridescent spoked wheels. These are the C35 carbon wheels from Hunt. They are the gravel specific ones. And they have the oil slick spokes. They're wrapped in the Hutchison Toreg tires. That's a 700 by 40. Uh, we love these tires. They perform really well, really good punch resistance. They're sticky, so they're really good in, in conditions that they really shouldn't be in. You can go in sort of mud and over rocks and stuff and it is actually it's just still gripping so really happy with those as with all the stuff on our bikes it's stuff that we've tested so we that's why we're specking it basically um grx 810 groups as i said this particular bike has got a 42 chain ring it's got a 170 millimeter length crank we can change the crank length if desired we fitted the one that's most common for this sort of size, but if you did need to go 172.5, we can change that out, so just let us know. Um, Praxis bottom bracket, they're all standard. We choose Praxis, we've had a lot of experience with them and very happy with them. And we can also change the bearings very easily. So it's just a standard 2437 ABEC bearing in there. Um, ABEC 3 is what it comes with. And as I said, you can just change the bearings out rather than changing the shell, so it keeps the cost down. Um, I haven't noticed, or I haven't mentioned on other videos, but it does say in the literature on the website, all of our bikes fit, are fitted with shield as standard. So it's the plastic protection over the chain stay. We have, have it here, and then we do an extension because it, it gives a bit more protection at the end of the, the chain stay protection there. Um, we also put it in at the back on the discs, uh, sorry, the disc uh, caliper mounts, just there, you can just about see the edge of it. That's so that you don't catch the frame when you're, you're putting the wheel in and out with the disc rotor. And then that's also featured on the back of the, um, 
the fork there where the front caliper is mounted. So it has that on there. And we, we fit a big length of it on the under, underside of the tube. So it goes all the way down through there, through to there. So that's all protected by shield. We do that as standard. That's not something the customer pays extra for. It's just included in the price. I'm gonna show you that color off there. It's looking nice under the lights. Um, so groups, as I said, 810 GRX, go back to that. Um, rear derailleur, 810. Our rear cassette is XT. Fitted a 1142 onto this, 11 speed. It's got a 701 Altegra chain, which is the same level as the group set. Um, that's how all that's all done. We do do chain optimization. That's probably another video we should talk about. Um, as with all the other bikes, the fittings and bolts are all stainless steel. Um, these come with locking washers on the bottle cages. So front bottle cage, rear bottle cage and on the underside for putting your tools on. These also have locking washers as well and that's just to stop the cages rattling loose. Uh, we found that was happening during testing. Um, you may have noticed the chimneys on them. The chimney being this awful looking bit there uh, on the steerer. Don't panic about that. That's just because this bike hasn't got an owner yet. So I've left the entire length of the steerer so I can fine tune that to the customer and I'll just chop that down according to what the customer wants. So it won't come like that, but it will have our signature 10 millimeters above, which we prefer because we like to put the stem all the way down and the steerer to protrude from the top. So we're not clamping on the end of the steerer. So that's how that will come when you get it. Uh, I think that's about all you need to cover. Oh, saddle wise, I've um, got, uh, the iridescent um, finish on the saddle as well. And we've done that so that it matches the wheels. And that's a size small medium saddle and it's the Aduro comp saddle. So it's an Ergon saddle. Let's fit it on there. Just get it to focus back in again. So I'll just give you a quick run round again, just on the paintwork. And uh, I think I've covered off everything. Stainless steel bolt on here, obviously. So we have a stainless steel bolt on there, which we swap out. This was rusting in testing. We didn't like that, so I just swapped that over. Um, and that's what we use on our production bikes now. Little details like the rubber bungs we order in specially to fill the, the hole that's not required anymore for the front neck. Um, and that's probably about it. So I'll just give you a quick run round. I'll stop talking. So you can have a look and give us a call if you're interested in this or a custom one. Okay, thanks very much for watching.